How is it going everybody? It's your boy Incog back at it again with another video. Uh, you guys may not know, but you guys can clearly see by the title of the video and the title of the team here. This is Lidl Season 7, my draft analysis and team builder. I'm just, I mean, I might include team builder in this. I'm just going to call it draft analysis for now. The team builder and battle will actually go with the same video. So this will just be a draft analysis, obviously. And this should go up relatively uh, quickly, I guess. Because um, I record it, it'll go up. I think it goes up Monday. Um, but we'll see. Probably might go Tuesday, actually. But yeah, whatever day I'm doing the battle, I think it's Monday or Tuesday, this video will go up. And then the following day, you'll have the team builder in battle. But <laughs> let's talk about this real quick. So I had to draft 10 Pokemon, as you guys already know. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Just 10 Pokemon. And uh, you guys know my squad from last year, but we decided to change it up a little bit. We're going in as a Sub-Zero Cyndaquil, which will flash up on screen. And uh, yeah, we are here. We are going to try and win. And there's a lot of like powerful teams. I think my team is pretty underpowered, or it's, it's still good. It's like, it's basically just balanced offense. It just throws a bunch of shit in there, <laughs> and then it's just kind of there. That's usually what my teams are. If they aren't anything strategical, or stra yeah. if you don't have any strategy, they're basically balanced offense is how I see it. A little here, a little there, but let's just get into it. I picked out four Z Pokemon since all the Pokemon are... Um, Weighed by points or whatever have you, so I, I used it for four instead of like three or two. Um, I will include the league sheet in the description, of course, so you guys can see that. Um, you guys just to see a team and see how everything works. But let's get into it. Your Sub Zero Syndicals picked up Raichu first overall. And honestly, I didn't want to pick up Raichu first, but I felt as if Raichu being a good fake out user, a good encore user, a good wish pa a semi decent a semi decent wish passer with a nice base speed and still hits like a truck with the Z crystal it allows me to do some pretty meme shit. Um and with this season with Z crystals or whatever have you, any Pokemon that is below four points in value, or no below yeah four points and below can use an omni boosting move. And I don't know if Raichu has one. I don't know if the other Z Pokemon I have have one. But we're gonna find out this season, aren't we? Um, but some of them are um, two points. I think it's Pinsir, Mamoswine, Raichu, and something else. Yeah, I did. I did kind of spoil one of my other picks, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, mostly you just want to talk about Raichu here. Like I said, fast Pokemon, good wish, pa or semi decent wish passing, Encore, Fake Out. I can nuzzle things to paralyze them so they avoid sweeping me, or I can avoid getting swept rather. And Raichu, honestly, to me, just feels like a good mod. I give the Focus Ash and do the Focus Ash counter trick like everybody wants to see. I, you know, everybody who knows me, of course. Um, everybody knows my memes at this point. But, um, yeah, I really like uh, Raichu in general. And I was going to just draft Raichu last, but I kind of felt like I didn't know what I wanted first. So I said, let's not go for, like, a 10-pointer. Let's go get a 2-pointer real quick. So... Let's talk about the next Pokemon on this list. We have the Mega Scizor. Ah, uh, last season we got Mega Sharnigo, of course. But I decided, you know what? Let's just break off a deal with, you know, this shit. Let's just say, you know what? Never mind. Not today. No speed boost. Let's just go with the Remix 2 Technician. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Scissors rolling that body. About to get everybody wishing. And <laughs> they're avoiding that bullet punch, though. Uh, basically, Mega Scizor is a really strong Pokemon. And it hits like a goddamn trick of bug bite, bullet punch, has, gets aerial ace, and gets other moves as well. It's an okay defogger in my opinion. Not the best one, but definitely good. Uh, with the Source Sense Agility set, it can definitely uh, do some work. But we'll expand on that when we get to Team Builder, of course, and all that. Uh, overall, I really do like Mega Scizor as a powerful Pokemon that can just lay, down, lay out hits and everything else. So this will be a dangerous Pokemon on my team, to say the least. Next up, I drafted Genesec in the draft, but then we got one free agency trade before we started our three for the season. I drafted Genesec for Victini. Obviously, I already know young Victini, young Dayquil, Nyquil, over here. <laughs> over here? Yeah, okay. Uh, v for Vendetta. All the nicknames I gave this Victini, you already know. Victini had, speaks for itself. A very great Final Gambit mod, if I do say so myself. Um, a great Scarfer, a good Specs user as well. And also, giving told other 
uh, choice item and choice band. Additionally, I think that uh, I think uh, uh, Victina gets healing wish. If I just scroll down here, uh, does it get healing? No, it doesn't. It gets magical though. Ooh. No, but it gets a bunch of moves. Is my basic point. It's a very great Pokemon with all base 100 stats, and overall with Vic uh, Victory Song, yeah. Uh, still hits, still lands hits. But I'll probably be using 100% accurate moves because you know your boy don't like missing. Um, but this season, you never know what we can do with Victini, obviously. Um, it could just be a final game of Mon as usual, or it could be an unstoppable force like last time. Whew. Excuse me. It wasn't unstoppable, I won't say. It was just more of a Incock has to run this in order to win kind of set, and that's how I feel about Victini. Um, but hey, it doesn't matter. Victini is still a great Pokemon, in my opinion. <clears throat> Moving on, though, we have the other Z Crystal user, one of them, Mammal Swine. Mammal Swine here. God bless. I didn't think I was gonna pick up Mammal Swine. I didn't think I was, it was gonna come back to me. I thought other people wanted it, of course. And then I got to it, and I was like, well, looking at my team, as it stands, we needed something that, though it was going to die to fire when we had Genesec. I still wanted a Mon that was an Ice type, and I picked up Mamoswine because Mamoswine, just like a lot of my Pokemon I've seen, still hits like a truck, and still is a great Pokemon overall. With Ice and Ground, great typing overall. I think Ice is definitely underrated, but obviously, with Thick Fight ability, won't die to every fire attack, just some of them. And additionally, Mamoswine with a Choice Ban still will hit you like a goddamn truck, and it can run a rock set, which I'll definitely try to use more hazards. My singles play doesn't really include hazards or getting rid of them. Uh, and there is a lot I could do better with that, of course. So I'm going to try and improve upon that with uh, every time I team build. The Endeavor set was one I saw um, fairly recently when I did a Monotype Live, which you guys will see next week. Uh, because that was recorded as a Christmas Live. But we'll talk about that when it gets there. Uh, but yeah, from a very basic standpoint though, Mamoswine to me, hits like a truck, a very nice Pokemon, offensively, not really defensively, but definitely still a Pokemon that can fit this team, and definitely fits like a glove. Um, next up, I had to pick up a water type, pick up a bulky water, because I was definitely allergic to fire, so I went ahead and picked a sweet Suicude, and remember, I said I was, because I had Genesect, and I had Mega Scissor, and I was like, fuck, also pick up Mamoswine, I'd have to, I'm forced to run Thick Fight, which I'm still gonna run it, obviously, but you get what I mean. Suicune, six seconds, shizzy, right here. Suicune six, I can't say SH is correct, but anywho, Suicune over here has this, ah, oh God, I love pressure, I loved Crocoon until it's used against me, of course, and I felt as if if someone else, if I didn't take it, someone else was gonna take it, basically. That's how I feel about a lot of Pokemon in this draft. So I picked up Suicune, and I felt as if this was a Pokemon I really needed. And I give it the Miracle Zet that I love running with Assault Vest and other moves, and I can do so much with it. Uh, it's not a Z Pokemon, unfortunately. I didn't feel like making a Z Pokemon. It would've actually probably been good as Z Pokemon, but I didn't feel like it. Uh, Tailwind is really good on this set, of course. If you want to run tail or good in this Pokemon out this set specifically, because I, I I'm not going to talk about that this video, but we'll talk about it later. Um, moving on though, Suicune so to me, a bulky water type. It can be used offensively, it can be used defensively. It's a pretty versatile bot in my opinion, and I definitely think that I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, and I definitely needed a water type on the team, so I looked at my team. I said, let's pick up a Dragon type. I had the option of Salamence. And I'll explain later on why I didn't take Salamence, but I decided to take Zygra 10%, since Zygra 50% was obviously taken already. Zygra 10% is just basically faster Zygarde. That's really it. I think they still have the same attack stat. Yeah, they both have base 100, I believe. And, uh, yeah. So, just faster Zygarde and more frail. And, uh, yeah. That's really it. I mean, you guys know what I did with Zygarde last season. Zygarde was definitely my best Pokemon on the team. And, obviously, I can... Use a choice banded and do a lot of work with it still. I can even use it in a, a weirder way. I can use the coil set. I use a bunch of different sets with Zygarde, of course, but I have to be more careful because it's more frail. So there is that. But otherwise, Zygarde to me, personally, is definitely a really good mod and has a bunch of options. But obviously, we all know what we're going to be doing with this set. If you know me, you know what kind of memory I can do. So moving on, we go over here. And we have the second part of this. So you had the top six here, the bottom four, I guess you could say. 
hit him on top. Uh, I needed a spinner on this team, and I wasn't going to draft one originally because I'm not a person who drafts spinners usually, um, honestly. So picking up hit him on top it was definitely a different experience for me. And Intimidate mod's really good. Having Technician, Intimidate, I think it's Steadfast's last ability. And like a lot of sets run, Assault Vest, hit him on top would work. Obviously, hit him on top is definitely a very, a very nice amount to have. Not great in single. I know it's better in doubles, personally, from all of my experiences. It's better in doubles, but still, as a single spoke, I can still do the work that I needed to do, and that's like I just needed to hit. That's all I needed to do. <laughs> I needed to hit things. I needed to spin things away. I needed to just be a decent Pokemon. Whew. Excuse me once again. So yeah. There's not really much to say about Hitmontop, everyone knows what it does, but there are things I want to explore with this Pokemon as well. So, moving on, we have Aromatisse. Aromatisse is your Wish Passer. <laughs> wish Passer, Heal Bell user, Cleric, whatever you want to say, and also just is a nice Pokemon and pretty bulky, I will say. Um, I really need a Fairy-type as well on this team. I didn't really think about it before I got to the end, and I was like, whatever, let's just pick up Aromatisse. Aromatisse works in the many ways in the wondrous ways in Romatisse I should really say and uh yeah it's just a cleric to me and definitely will be a dangerous mon if I can set it up and gets trick room which isn't that important since my team is mostly fast but hey who knows it could be its own trick room setter and then just hit things that'd, that'd be probably probably fun um moving on though we do have Tornadus Farian I wanted to get six point Pokemon, like I said earlier, and I wanted to get Salamence, but I say, you know what? I want to get Zygarde, because Zygarde works best with me personally. And much I love Salamence, maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> so in Tornadus, Tornadus is a generator ability, and the Z Crystal obviously has a lot of different options. Z Hurricane, Z Dark Pulse, Z Focus Blast, I think it gets. Um, can get uh, Z U Turn, which I don't think is that great, but it's definitely still a good Z move to keep in the back just in case. You never know. Um, I think it's Icy Wind as well, and it gets Z Superpower as well, so there's a lot of different Z moves Tornadus gets. It's kind of limited, but I will say that even without the Z Crystal, the regenerative ability and how bulky you can make a Tornadus Darien is definitely something to admire and definitely something to observe. Um, so I definitely really love um, Tornadus Darien in that matter. Also, a Defogger, once again, and that's really it about Tornadus. Um, moving on, another Z Crystal user, like I mentioned earlier, Pinsir. <sighs> My boy, I used to use Pinsir back in the day, just Scarf Pinsir, just because with Moxie, it just, it will hit, and then it'll gain attack, and that's all it needed to do. That's all I wanted it to do, really. And that's what I want to do with Pinsir again. I want to have a fun time, but at the same time, make the enemy's life a living hell with a Pokemon that can damn near one-shot things. But based on 125 attack, I'm thinking it's going to be hidden pretty hard. And generally, though, I may or may not bring Pinsir all that much. Um, it really depends on the matchup. Pinter would have to be scarfed in to do a lot because it only hits 295 max speed. Not really outspeeding a lot of the major Pokemon it could beat, obviously, but definitely outspeeding the Pokemon that it, that matter. So there is that too. Um, but I'll try to use it as best as I can, obviously. Um, but I do love Pinter, uh, of course. And as you guys saw when I was switching over, I do have the team already built. But like I said, this will be uploaded when the battle happens. So. You know, I can't be like, you know, the person who I'm fighting. Won't be able to see it, of course. But, guys, that's going to do it for me. You guys get to see the team. Obviously, the next video you should see is the team builder and battle, of course. So, if you guys did like this video, give it a like. Also, comment and subscribe today. Check out my Twitch page in the description for more of my content. And I will talk to you guys later. And let's make this Little League better. Or this season better. Some, some inspirational quote here. But I'll talk to you guys later.